And so all you get to do is be present to it. Jump on the wave and ride it. Ride the wave until it ends, until it ends. And the moment it ends, it instantly creates a new beginning. Whoa, okay, we start again. Bam, here I am again. Now what wave? What wave do I need to ride? You see that surfboard back there. What wave do I need to ride now that will take me to the next part of my evolution? This is the game to play, guys. What's up, y'all? Preston Smiles here. Blessings from Venice Beach, California. Today's transmission. Five things to give up that will make you instantly successful. Thing number one is overthinking. You see, so many of us spend so much time analyzing and getting ready to get ready and thinking about what may happen if we take that step and what may not happen if we don't take that step. And all of this overthinking has created uh, paralysis by analysis. It has us paralyzed to the point where we make no choices or no decisions. We have all of these options and we just sit there and do nothing. Getting ready to get ready. And so if you want to be successful, if you want to be truly happy and joy filled, the first thing you get to let go of and give up is overthinking. How you do this is you listen to first thought. First thought is what I would call intuition, right? That, that first thought that comes through that says, go over there, talk to them, reach out to so-and-so. Have you ever had that happen where your thoughts go, oh, I should check on you know, my friend or my cousin. And then you don't do it and you hear from them like a week later and they say, oh my God, I was really going through it last week. And you're like, oh, you got the intuitive hit, but you didn't listen. And so go with that. Whatever comes up for you, if you're in meetings or conversations and something comes through, say it before you have worked it all out. A lot of us are addicted to looking good and therefore it keeps us on the fence, on the sidelines, analyzing and trying to get it right. And this will rob you of your happiness, your joy and true success. Thing number two to give up, to grow up, to go up is the fear of change. So many of us are holding on to, with death claws, to what we know. Even if what we know is painful, even if what we know is hurting us, even if what we know is keeping us from living our dreams, from connecting with people, from taking our life to the next level. And so if you are looking to really truly level up, you gotta let go of the fear of change because everything will change. All of life is moving, shifting, and changing. We live in an occurring world. That means that cellularly, if we break you down and break you down and break you down, there is no thing, nothing. Everything is moving, shifting, and changing. And so you can be like nature, right? You can be like the seasons. You can be like the ocean. You can be like the grass. You can be like the flowers. You can be like the lions and move with the seasons as opposed to trying to hold on out of a fear that something may go wrong. Because here's the thing, guys, hear me. What you've usually rehearsed in your head almost never happens. The fears, these, these illogical fears of what may happen if this happens are usually not true. And so don't listen to those. Those are the liar. That's the wounded self. That's the substitute self. That's the, that, that's the wounded ego trying to run your life. Bam. Thing number three to give up, to grow up, goes with number two. It's a close cousin and that is living in the past. You know, a lot of us talk about and I hear, I get messages from people all the time about um, how their relationship with their ex was so amazing and they just wish that they could get back there. Or even their, their relationship with the person they're in right now, they just wish that they could get back to that thing, what they used to be when they were 25, what they used to be two years ago, two months ago, right? A lot of us are living in the past, but once again, we live in an occurring world. And so if you're stuck focusing on the past, you're missing the now, you're missing the now and you're bringing the past into the now, which then creates your future. And so one of the best things you could do to level up, to go up, to grow up, is to let go of what was. Have faith in what will be, and be here now. Be here now, that means get present to the presence. Get present to the presence. <sighs> that. <sighs> that. We're here. 
we're here and there's a lot here. Right here in this now moment, there's a lot. There is so much beauty right here, right now. There is life. There are trillions of cells dancing through your body, making sure that you don't have to think about a heart beating, it just beats. You don't have to think about moving a hand, it just moves. You don't have to think about growing your hair, it just grows. Why? Because all of life is in, in harmonic flow. Everything is harmonizing together. And so all you get to do is be present to it. Jump on the wave and ride it. Ride the wave until it ends, until it ends. And the moment it ends, it instantly creates a new beginning. Whoa, okay, we start again. Bam, here I am again. Now what wave? What wave do I need to ride? You see that surfboard back there? What wave do I need to ride now that will take me to the next part of my evolution? This is the game to play, guys. Ooh. Thing number four, to let go of, to go up, to grow up, to take it to the next level, ooh, ooh, is negative self-talk, ineffective self-talk. This, this, you know, the worst enemy in the world is the one that's truly living inside of our heads. And that enemy, let me tell you guys this, is not, is not there per chance. That enemy has been cleverly camouflaged and inserted into your consciousness by the media, by the social media, mass media, by the environment and the culture that wants you to buy, that wants you to believe that you're not good enough, pretty enough, smart enough, tall enough, short enough, that you don't have uh, enough money, all of these things, this, there's an entire industry that needs you to be sick, depressed, anxiety. It needs you to be all of these things in order for them to make money. And so if you really want to go up, grow up, and level up, then it's time for you to stop treating yourself like a prisoner, treating yourself like a, like a third-rate citizen. Start talking about this vessel, about this beautiful being. Start, start loving on this amazing human that's still here. If you're here, you got purpose. If you're here, you got purpose. And there's something that only you can deliver, only you can give to the world. And so instead of you down talking and talking about how ugly or fat or flabby or nappy or whatever the case may be, start affirming, I am perfect, whole and complete but not finished. I am perfect, whole and complete but not finished. I am a unique emanation of the divine. I am present to the presence. I am pure love, pure beauty, pure energy. I am an infinite, vulnerable, peaceful, powerful leader. Speak truth to yourself. This is how you level up. Thing number five ooh, ooh, on how to level up your life. The thing you get to let go of, the thing that will elevate everything is letting go of people pleasing. So many of us spend so much time trying to seek the approval of our wives and husbands and boyfriends and girlfriends and moms and dads. So many of us are wearing these masks all over that the masks have begun to wear us. Take these off. What do you want? What do you choose? What life are you committed to? Worry about you because they'll always find a reason or something that they don't align with. You didn't come here to live your parents' lives. You didn't come here to do what society says is okay. You didn't come here to be an upstanding citizen and an upstanding wife or husband or boyfriend. Do you play, jump, go too far, find the ledge, see what happens. But you get to let go of this idea that, that if you please everybody, then you'll finally be approved of, because they won't approve of you anyway. You've seen it. We've all done it done everything according to the books and what happened? It was still bullshit. Nobody cares. Everybody's living their own lives and thinking about themselves. The best thing you could do is to be selfish. Being selfish creates selfless. It is an interesting cosmic joke, divine dichotomy. Point being is you can stop people pleasing. You get to make it about you because when you fill your cup, you can get from the overflow. Remember, what's in your cup is yours. What flows out is theirs. But you gotta fill your cup first. How you fill your cup is doing what's on your heart is being what's on your heart, is saying what's on your heart, living your truth. You gotta do it. Uh, let's get it, y'all.
If you are new to the tribe, new to the family, new to my vibe, and you're on YouTube, please click that red subscribe button. If you're on Facebook or YouTube, please comment below and let me know which one of these hit you the hardest. Which one of these is the one you're gonna be doing the most work on? And please tag somebody and share this video. I love you guys so much. Blessings and blessings from Venice Beach, California. I am, we are, hashtag loves voices going down in a beautiful, major way. Ooh, ooh, blue, 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 blue. No matter how obscure, no matter how weird, no matter how ridiculous you think this thing is, that's the thing that will make room for you.